Original North American Area Codes The original North American Area Codes were established by the American Telephone and Telegraph Company at and T in the immediate post-WW2 period. The effort of creating a comprehensive and universal continent-wide telephone numbering plan in North America had the eventual goal of direct distance dialing by telephone subscribers with a uniform destination addressing and call routing system for all public service tell. The initial nationwide numbering plan of 1947 established 86 numbering plan areas in PA that principally followed existing U.S. state or Canadian provincial boundaries, but 15 states and provinces were subdivided further. 40 NPA were mapped to entire states or provinces. Each NPA was identified by a three-digit area code used as a prefix to each local telephone number. The initial system of numbering plan areas and area codes was expanded rapidly in the following decades and established the North American numbering plan name. History Early in the 20th century, the American and Canadian telephone industry had established criteria and circuits for sending telephone calls across the vast number of local telephone networks on the continent to permit users to call others in many remote. By 1930, this resulted in the establishment of the General Toll Switching Plan, a systematic approach with technical specifications for routing calls between two major classes of routing centers, regional centers and primary outlets, as well as thousands of minor interchange points and tributaries. Calls were manually forwarded between centers by long-distance operators who used the method of ring-down to command remote operators to accept calls on behalf of customers. This required long call set-up times with several intermediate operators involved. When placing a call, the originating party would typically have to hang up and be called back by an operator once the call was established. The introduction of the first Western Electric No. 4 crossbar switching system in Philadelphia to commercial service in August 1943 automated the process of forwarding telephone calls between switching centers. For the Bell system this was the first step to let their long-distance operators dial calls directly to potentially faraway telephones. While automatic switching decreased the connection times from up to 15 minutes to approximately 2 minutes for calls between faraway locations, each intermediate operator still had to determine special routing codes unique to their location for each call. To make a nationwide dialing network a practical reality, and to prepare for eventual direct distance dialing DDD by subscribers, a uniform nationwide numbering plan was needed so that each telephone on the continent had a unique address that could be used independently from where a call originated. Such methodology is called destination routing. With this goal, at and developed a new system called Nationwide Operator Toll Dialing during the 1940s. The effort proceeded with periodical communications to the general telecommunication industry via the Dial Inter-Exchange Committee of the United States Independent Telephone Association. The planning came to a conclusion in October 1947 when results were presented to wider industry bodies. The new numbering plan became known as the Nationwide Numbering Plan, and by 1975 it was known as the North American Numbering Plan, as efforts were in progress to expand the system beyond the United States and Canada. Central Office Prefixes Building a nationwide network in which anyone can dial another telephone required a systematic numbering system that was easy to understand and communicate to the general public. Local telephone numbers varied greatly across the country, from two or three digits in small communities to seven in the large cities. Based on the precedent and experience with the large city dial systems in the nation, the designers set out to standardize every local telephone network in the nation to seven-digit local telephone numbers. This required no or only a few changes in the nation's largest cities. The large automatic dial switching systems were designed to provide service for up to 10,000 subscriber lines. Therefore, each telephone connected to such a switch had a four-digit line or station number. For calling a telephone connected to another switching system in the same city or in a nearby community, 
a routing prefix was used that was dialed before the line number. Central office prefixes had already been used in the city's dial systems since the 1920s and were typically dialed by subscribers as the initial letters of the exchange name, but only the largest of cities used three digits or letters. This practice and familiarity was preserved in the initial formulation of the new numbering plan, but was standardized to a format of using two letters and one digit in the prefix, resulting in the format 2L5 in two letters and five numerals for the subscriber telephone number. This conversion required the addition of extra digits to the existing central office prefix. For example, the Atlantic City, New Jersey, Telephone number 4 minus 5876 was converted to a T4 minus 5876 in the 1950s. Complete replacement of existing prefixes was necessary in the case of conflicts with another office in the state. Duplication of central office names or an identical mapping of two different names to digits was not uncommon. In practice, the conversion of the nation to this numbering plan took decades to accomplish and was not complete before the alphanumeric number format was abandoned in the 1960s in favor of all number calling A and C. Numbering Plan Areas Initial concepts for a nationwide numbering plan anticipated by 1945 to divide the continent into between 50 and 75 numbering plan areas. Considering this size of the network, a unique two-digit code for each numbering plan area MPA would have been sufficient. However, Adanti wanted to preserve existing dialing practices by only dialing the local number for local calls. It was therefore necessary to distinguish the NPA codes from central office codes. Central office codes could not have the digits 0 and 1 in the first two positions because no letters were mapped to those to represent exchange names. This was the opportunity for distinction, but only when used in the second position, because switching systems already suppressed single-loop interruption corresponding to one automatically, and zero was used to reach an operator or long-distance desk. Therefore, numbering plan area codes, often called just area codes, were defined to have three digits, with the middle digit being zero or one. Area codes with the middle digit zero were assigned to numbering plan areas that comprised an entire state or province, while jurisdictions with multiple plan areas received area codes, having one as the second digit. The geographic layout of numbering plan areas across the North American continent was chosen primarily according to national, state, and territorial boundaries in Canada and the United States. While originally considered no numbering plan area, in the United States included more than a single state, but in Canada NPA 902 comprised all three territories of the Maritimes in the Far East. The largest states, and some states with suitable call routing infrastructure, were divided into smaller entities, resulting in 15 states and provinces that were subdivided further, creating 46 NPA. 40 NPA were assigned to entire states or provinces. The original configuration of the North American numbering plan assigned 86 area codes in October 1947, one each to every numbering plan area. The territories of the United States, which included Alaska and Hawaii, did not receive area codes at first. Initially, the area codes were used for nationwide operator toll dialing by long-distance operators who dialed them for routing trunk calls between toll offices. This replaced the previous methods of ring-down forwarding between intermediate operators. Preparations proceeded for in-customer direct distance dialing DDD by establishing special automatic toll switching centers based on new technology development for the NO for crossbar switching system first installed in Philadelphia in 1943. While the first customer dialed call using an area code was made on November 10, 1951, from Inglewood, New Jersey, to Alameda, California, it was not until the 1960s that direct distance dialing was common in most cities. Assignment Plan the number of central offices that could be effectively installed in a numbering plan with two letters and one digit for the central office code was expected to be approximately 500 
because acceptable names for central offices had to be selected carefully to avoid miscommunication. States that required this many offices had to be divided into multiple smaller areas. Size and population were not the sole criteria for division, however. Another important aspect was the existing infrastructure for call routing, which had developed in preceding decades independently of state or municipal boundaries. Since traffic between numbering plan areas would require special class minus four toll switching systems, planning the divisions avoided cutting busy toll traffic routes so that most toll traffic remained within an area and outgoing traffic from one area would not be tributary to toll offices in an adjacent area. On the other hand, it was already recognized in 1930 that too little granularity in the allocation pattern introduced expensive traffic backhaul requirements, conceivably resulting in congestion of the routes to the centers. These considerations led to the configuration that was publicized in October 1947, which divided New York State into five areas, the most of any state. Illinois, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Texas were assigned four area codes each, and California, Iowa, and Michigan received three. Eight states and provinces were split into two in PA. The pattern of this assignment of area codes is illustrated in the following tabulation, where the assignments to the Canadian provinces are highlighted in the blue fields. The red fields of this table are the NPA that hosted the regional centers for toll switching established in the General Toll Switching Plan of 1929, New York City 212, Los Angeles 213, Dallas 214, Chicago 312, St. Louis 314, and San Francisco 450. These existing centers were supplemented by new centers in Orange Fields in Detroit 313, already serving the busy toll route to Toronto, and in Philadelphia 215, which had been chosen for the first cut over into commercial service of a no or crossbar toll switch in 1943. The codes of the forms N0 in 10 and N11 where it is 2 through 9, were not available for assignment as area codes at the time, but were reserved as special codes, leaving a total of 136 possible combinations. The series N0 was later used for non-geographic numbers, starting with intrastate toll-free 800 numbers for inward wet service in 1965. And 10 numbers became teletypewriter exchanges, and 11 were used for special services, such as information and emergency services. Expansion As the implementation of the new numbering plan commenced, and the planning and design of detailed routing infrastructure proceeded, several numbering plan areas were redrawn or added in following years, usually before any direct distance dialing was available to the public. In 1948, Indiana received an extra area code, 219 for its Chicago suburbs in the West. In 1950, Southwest Missouri received area code 417, which reduced the extent of the Kansas City numbering plan area and thus provided more prefixes in that population center. In 1951, the state of New York gained area code 5 with City on Long Island, and Southern California received area code 714. After the successful initial trials of direct distance dialing in Inglewood, NJ of late 1951, expansion of the numbering plan accelerated with four new codes in 1953, seven in 1954, and by the end of the decade 31, additional area codes had been created over the initial allotment of 1947 to satisfy the post or surge in demand for telephone service. In 1960, at and T engineers, while already estimating that the capacity of the numbering plan would be exceeded by 1975, prepared the nation for the next major step in the evolution of the network by eliminating central office names and introducing all number calling ANC. ANC increased the number of central office prefixes possible in each numbering plan area from 540 to an eventual maximum of 792 after the introduction of interchangeable central A. In popular culture, 
numerous media outlets and blog-style online publication have commented on the history of the area codes. Such reports invariably state that area codes were assigned by a principle of counting pulses clicks of the rotary dial, which were minimized for the large metropolitan area, such as New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles, while assigning codes with many pulses to sparsely populated areas. However, no authoritative sources for this method are quoted, and none of the original, contemporary bell system documents support this. The concept appears to agree only for a few of the largest of cities, which were already designated regional centers for switching in the plan of 1929, and no correlation exists beyond those. Instead, the lowest area codes by pulse count in the group of single NPA states were all assigned to the Mid-Atlantic states, New Jersey, District of Columbia, Connecticut, Maryland, Delaware, and Rhode Island, which were close to the locations of major AT&T and Bell Labs facilities.